Moving on to question eight. Now, we have a question here on 3D vectors, and this is quite a tricky question. As you can see, there's a lot of context to this question, and it's split into four different parts. So let's have a look at what we're dealing with. So we've got a gas company that maintains a straight pipeline that passes underneath ammonium. And it's, this pipeline is modeled as a straight line, and then one side of the mountain is modeled as a plane. Okay, so it says that there are access ways from a control center to two access points on the pipeline. So, if we model the control center as the origin, O, and then the two access points on the pipeline have these coordinates, P and Q, where the units are in meters. So, part A just asks us to find a vector equation for the line PQ, giving our answer in the form, R equals A plus lambda B. So, hopefully, as tricky as this question is overall, hopefully part A isn't too bad. Pretty standard, so part A. So we're working out PQ, PQ. So for PQ now, remember we kind of work backwards, so for PQ, this is gonna be Q minus P, okay? Using these coordinates, so Q here, and then P here. So if we do that, what will we get? So that'll be 300, 300, and minus 50 minus my p here, my coordinates for p, so that's minus 300, 400, and minus 150. Okay, let's do that. So 300 minus minus 300, that'll give me 600. 300 minus 400, that gives me minus 100. And then minus 50, minus minus 150, that'll give me positive 100. Okay, so let's close that. We've got this now. Now we just need to put it into this form here. R equals A plus lambda B. Remember, this is my direction vector here. So R is equal A. So A can be either P or Q. It's completely up to you, but I'm just going to use P here. So it's going to be minus 300. 400 minus 150 plus lambda lots of this. Okay, so plus lambda lots. 600 minus 100 and 100 so that's part a done for the first two marks so as you can see first question um apart from me scrolling down there's not much room but seeing as we need to keep reading the question what i'm going to keep doing at each stage is just clearing it so that's part a done so part b tells us that the equation of the plane is 2x plus 3y minus 5z is equal to 300 and what it's saying is that they want to create a new access way from this side of the mountain to the pipeline so the access way consists of a tunnel of the shortest possible length between the pipeline and the point M, and that's the coordinates for M are 100, K and 100 on this side of the mountain, where K is just a constant. So this is where this question gets a bit trickier. The first thing we have to do is work out a value for K. Okay, so how do we work out that value for K? Well, we know the equation of the plane is 2x plus 3y minus 5z is equal to 300. So, we've got this point here, M, 100, K, 100. But if we sub this into this, this equation of the plane, we can work out a value for K, right? So, that's going to be 2 lots of 100. 2 lots of 100 plus 3 lots of K. We don't know what K is yet. And then minus 5 lots of 100, so minus 500. This is equal to 300. So, if we simplify this now, this will be 200 here, minus 500. So, that's going to give me... 200 plus 3k minus 500. So what I'm going to get if I simplify all this in total is I'll get 3k is equal to 600, taking it across to the other side. And then 3k is equal to 600, so I can divide both sides by 3 to get k is equal to 200. So what we know now is that the coordinates of m is 100, 200, and 100. Okay. So we can use this now to work out the coordinates of the point at which the tunnel meets the pipeline. So the first thing to note is that M is a point on the mountain. So M, point on the mountain. And we know that X is just a general point on the line, or the pipeline in this case. So X is a general point. on the line 
So, using that information now, we can work out a vector, uh, a, a vector equation for mx. So, mx. Well, how do we do that again? Working backwards. So, that's going to be x, which is just my general point. So, that was what we had from part a. So, that's going to be minus 300. 400 and minus 150. So I'm just making sure I don't accidentally write anything down in Corelli because there's a lot of different uh, vectors here. So plus lambda lots of 600. 600 minus 100 and 100. And we need to subtract m off this. I remember m is this point here. So we're going to minus. Um, so I just do it to the side here. So we're minusing off. 100, 200, and 100. So this is getting a little bit messy, but hopefully you can see where we're going. So I'm going to work this out now. But remember, this is minus 300, minus 100, 400, minus 200, and then minus 150, minus 100. So simplifying all that, what you'll get is that mx is equal to minus 400 plus 600 lots of lambda, and then keep doing this for each one. So I've just skipped ahead to do all these 600 lambda. That would be 200 minus 100 lambda. And then finally, minus 250 plus 100 lambda. Okay. But it's important to know that M, that the mountain line here that we have is perpendicular to the direction, right? You think about how this pipe's going down. The, um, so let me just do that straight. So the pipe that's coming down here, what it's saying is that the the pipe that meets it here is perpendicular, right? So you should know for vectors that if you do the dot product of two perpendicular vectors, it'll be equal to zero. So doing that now, what I can say is minus 400 plus 600 lambda. And then this, basically it's just this here. So 200 minus 100 lambda minus 250 plus 100 lambda dotted with so now we dot it with the direction okay so 600 minus 100 and 100 so now you've got to work all this out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this on this side over here in fact let's just put all this out we should have enough room on here so this is a very long question it might be a uh, about a 20 minute video of this overall. So doing this over here now, what do we get? Well, we're going to get minus 240,000 plus 360,000 lambda. So like I said, this is quite a long, tedious question. Plus minus 20,000, minus 20,000 plus 10,000 lambda. And then same again here, plus minus 25,000. And then finally plus 10,000 lambda. So simplifying all this now, and we know this should be equal to zero. So this is equal to zero. So I've skipped ahead and done this already. But what you should get is 285,000. Sorry, minus 285,000 plus 380,000 lambda is equal to zero. So take this 285,000 across and then divide by 380,000 and what you'll get is that lambda is equal to 3 over 4 or 0 0.75. So we've got our lambda value now. All we need to know is use that lambda value for my R equation. Okay, So using that with my R equation, so what that'll be is r equals so it was my r equals from uh, part a so we had for part a minus 300 400 and minus 150 plus lambda but that's 3 over 4 for the direction so it's 600 minus 100 and 100 and then if you work out each one of these individually, which I've already done, you get your coordinates. So your coordinates will simply be 150, 325, and minus 75. 
And there we have it. So that's the coordinates of the point at which the tunnel will meet the pipeline. So coordinates. Okay, so that's part uh, one done for B. And then we have to work at the length of this tunnel. Okay, so the length of this tunnel. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to clear all this work here so we can see what we've got. So to find the length of this tunnel, well, I'm just going to have to use the distance formula equation. So, length of tunnel well what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 150, so I'm using my um, which equation have I got here so that's my coordinates at which the point, uh, at which the tunnel meets the pipeline, so I'm going to do the distance from 150, so if we do that it's going to be the square root of 150 150 minus the distance here so it was my original distance of 100 so minus 100 and then square it again do the same for your next coordinates so it's 325 minus 200 and then finally plus 70 minus 75 minus 100 all squared okay put all this on your calculator and what you should get is 221 meters for this part here so that's simply what you've got to do for the length of the tunnel so it's your your coordinates of where the point at the point at which the tunnel meets the pipeline and then you go in from the the, the plane in essence basically okay so that's the length of the tunnel 221 meters part C says to determine whether the company should build the new access way. So it says it's only practical to construct the new access way if it will be significantly shorter than both of the existing access ways. So that's OP and OQ. So we need to work out the length of each one. So the length of each one, well, again, just distance. So OP, so that's your coordinates here. So it's going to be the square root. So we do this one down here. Square root minus 300 squared plus 400 squared plus minus 150 squared. And then take the square root of the full thing. Do the same now for this vector here, OQ. So this is going to be the square root of 300 squared plus 300 squared and then plus 50 squared okay put both of these on your calculator and what you'll get for OP is approximately 522 meters and then for this one here OQ again you'll get approximately 427 meters okay so it says determine whether they should build the new access way well as the new tunnel is much shorter, the new access way should be built. Because what it's saying is it only, it's only practical to construct the new access way if it's significantly shorter. Well, we got 221. So we had 221 meters. These two are clearly much larger. Okay, this is 427. This is 522. So, therefore, the new access way should be built. Should be built. Okay, and then finally, for part D, it just asks us to suggest one limitation of the model. Well, there's a couple of different things you could say. I think the, the clearest one to me would be the idea of the plane, right? It's saying that the, the side of this mountain is represented as a, the equation of a plane. But, I mean, if you've ever looked at the side of like a, a mountain, it's never completely flat, right? There's a lot of rocks, different uh, like hill levels and stuff. So one limitation that I'd suggest is that the mountainside unlike is unlikely to be completely flat. To be completely flat. So therefore, 
plane might not be acceptable or appropriate. We'll say appropriate. Another comment you could make is the fact that the pipeline is modeled as a straight line. Clearly this pipeline isn't going to be a, it's going to have a thickness on this pipe, right? So a straight line might not necessarily be the best model for it. So that's another comment you could make. Um, but for me, this is the clearest one that jumps out. So the idea that the mountainside is unlikely to be completely flat and therefore a plane might not be appropriate for the model. So there we have it, that's question eight, fully complete.